This is a Bosch CP1 high pressure fuel pump fixed to a, vo vo uh, a Vauxhall Corsa and the car just wouldn't start. So I checked the low pressure pump and make sure that works fine. So that usually comes on when you turn to ignition position one or two uh, and you can just hear it all, all run the fuel from the tank. Uh, the, that pumps in the tank but yeah there was plenty of fuel getting through take one of the pipes off the fuel filter and see that uh, made sure there were no blocks in the line or the fuel filter uh, checked that there was fuel in the high pressure rail that goes to the injectors checked that there were no fuses blown and that the injectors were getting the signal to work from the wiring loom or the ECU uh, so the thing just wouldn't start I cranked it for 10-15 minutes it would fire on one cylinder but that wasn't enough to get it started also uh, before this there was a loss of power going up hills you couldn't rev it um, you know over 3000 rpm something like that if you took your foot off the accelerator it would actually run just a little bit better um, but you could only then only you know go up a hill at the speed that the engine would let you go up so i tested the turbo uh, made sure that was spinning freely and that wasn't seized check the map sensor as well which is on the back of the inlet manifold and all these were okay uh, check the inlet manifold to make sure there weren't any leaks and that it wasn't blocked um, and check the air filter and the glow plugs to make sure they all work properly as well so basically you check everything that would stop fuel and air getting into the cylinders so this job take off the high pressure pump remove um, had to remove the vacuum pump first as this blocks one of the pump bolts replace all the seals on the high pressure pump uh, making sure everything's insanely clean and put it all back together and then when I put it back together I didn't connect the high pressure output from the pump and use the low pressure pump on that ignition position uh, before turning the engine over just to run through probably about a litre or two litres of diesel all the way through the pump uh, cranking, uh, sorry, yeah, cranking the engine over so that all the pump would turn, um, but the engine wouldn't start, just to get as much diesel washed through any any bits of dirt and rubbish that might have been left behind while taking the pump apart. Uh, that's very very important because this obviously happened. Uh, this pump is working after your normal fuel filter, so you don't want anything in there because if you get stuff stuck in your injectors you ain't really going to get it out that easily uh, and that's just another job you don't want to do so the valves is here another one in here but this one is stuck behind this thing tape over the ends get the fuel filter out of the way now take the bolts off but hold this on Filter, uh, the brake vacuum filter out of the way, didn't need to take the clip off. Um, I can now remove that bolt and the whole unit should come off. So this is the seal kit right today. Um, just a note, not all seals in the kit are used in the pump. Uh, for example, I know that it doesn't use this teardrop one, this one, in, in this model one, but some will. Um, and there's lots of other little washers and things in here that I'm not entirely sure where they'll be. So the first thing to do will be take each of the three heads off of each of the pressure points and um, so that's done with one of these and that'll just be undoing each one of these here each four of these and uh, there is a small allen key 
point here, you don't take that out, there's no need to take that out, it has a ball bearing in the end and all it does is a, a port block for the high pressure line that comes in across and that angle so it's being drilled in that way um, you'll see in a minute so when you've undone all four bolts it will spring up so be careful that it doesn't come up with a jolt make sure it comes up nice and easily so this is the high pressure head that's off so the high pressure fluid goes up here uh, and then comes out through this hole down here uh, to get that hole connected to this one a hole's been drilled across the top here so that just uh, blocks it off and stops it leaking out of the drilled hole seals we're going to replace uh, this one this one under here some seals to get out in there as well um, and replace this one over here so that's in the head in the main body so all of these do come apart but there's no seals in them so this should turn just comes off you want to keep this insanely clean don't bother drying off the diesel it's acting there as a good lubricant so that should smooth very smoothly turn around uh, any issues you can see on this one there's a bit of wear on this side just because in its life it's never turned around so that's fine so there are no seals to replace on this either, or no washers, nothing else. And then this lifts off. This post, this post will come out. And in here is where the piston gets pushed up and down on the pump. Just cleaning the top up with a razor blade. And then using a screwdriver, I've just marked this face number one. And then I put everything to do with that on. Number one, and I'm going to do that for number two and number three as well. So everything's kept, kept. Uh, we'll go back where it came from, and then I'll be able to take this off because at the moment all the springs will be pushing against this shaft. All these springs of the piston, all the springs of this piston will be pressing against this shaft. So uh, yeah, take all the caps off, uh, give it a bit of a clean. It's not too important because the seals um, make on the surfaces below which aren't rusty. So this is just where weather's got in over the years, but it's nothing to do with the performance of of the pump. So we've got all three head caps off. Uh, loosen these ones now. I used good leverage of a mini ratchet these things are on damn tight so uh, we'll do that and then we'll take this off so this is it partly pulled up three bolts taken out and I used this little hole here 
just to get my first leverage on it um, just to get past some of the seals that are on the inside and then it pulls out nicely You can see that some of these blue ones here completely tattered, falling apart. 